Good morning. I thought I would do a quick video review of the Alps Mountaineering Jagged Peak 3 Four Season Tent. I don't normally do these types of reviews, but because I couldn't find any information on this tent when I was trying to buy it, I thought I would try to help those like myself. Um, in my opinion, it's an ugly tent, but it's not nearly as ugly in person as it is in the, on the internet or the catalog pictures, wherever you might see it. Um, it's got some pretty cool features on it that I really like. I'm going to be happy with it, I think. I bought it because I camp in a place that has a lot of wind. And my old tents used to always blow over. I don't think this tent's going to do that. It's got some little rain flies, got some neat features. It's got clear windows so you can see out of the tent if you're stuck in it for a long time. Got a guy out point. These here vent, the little pop up Velcro stick so you can actually get a little opening in there to get some air into the tent. It's got another tab down here at the bottom which maybe could be guyed out. I'm not sure exactly what that does yet. The directions on the tent aren't extraordinary. They're just okay. Um, the rain fly seems pretty good. It rained last night and it seemed to hold off water pretty good. So you can bring the zippers all the way down like I did, which is probably isn't the way to go. You want to bring them all the way up instead. That way, it pulls out of the way. In case you guys haven't noticed, I'm not a video cinematographer. Um, so that that flap will pull back out of the way. You can you can roll it up to keep it out of the way. Um, I think if you had it halfway zipped up you could probably keep most of the water out of the tent if it was raining and still get pretty good ventilation the vestibules got some pretty good room to uh, put some stuff without these zippers are great in my opinion compared to my last tent one hand up and down you can close or open the tent I like that it's pretty slick get inside there's the other door on the other side. I'm looking out to the vestibule. There's the side windows. And again, there's the clear plastic window you can look out, which is kind of cool if you're stuck in here. I've got rolled up the little zip-up panel that covers the window. There's another one on the other side of the tent. Up above, there's the gear hammock. And then uh, rolled out of the way are the, the little flaps for the vents. Um, some gear pockets, one right here, they're real low to the floor so they're not going to pull the inside of the tent in, and then you can even slip stuff behind them if you wanted. There's another one on this side too. Um, so I think it's going to be a pretty good tent, you know this is the three man version, the way the Alps shows it on the their, uh, their website, are there diagram of the tent there's no way you can get three people across the long the, the width of the tent like they show unless they're oompa loompas or something but i kind of expected that it's disappointing but my intent is to run two people the long the long way of the tent this way the two people will have plenty of space with all their gear might even be able to squeeze three in there but uh, I think it's a good tent. The poles are really nice and strong. They go together real easy. The tent hangs on it. You can take this tent down while it's while the flies up, which is kind of cool. So I give it a four out of five stars. It's a pretty good tent. Hope this review helps you a little bit. And uh, I think you'll like the tent if you're if you're looking for one of these. Don't think you'll be disappointed.